What is up people, new video this time featuring our very own Hindu science minister. Let's see what he is saying. I didn't want to do it, but I wrote it in the book that there is a 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 book. नहीं जमीन के लिए पूरे पुराण में जितने अल्फाज आए हैं वो सारे के सारे पिछाना फैलाना इस तरह के अलमती के माना किराज कोई बात नहीं हमारे यहाँ जोग्राफी को हिंदी में क्या कहते हैं तो नाम से ही गोल है मतलब कहीं कोई संदेह ही नहीं है कि गोल था दूसरा आपने वाराह उतार देखा होगा तो वाराह के दांत में फंसी हुई धरती गोल है कि चौकोर है Okay, so the claim is that uh, the the Earth depicted in the Varahavatar. For anyone who doesn't know the story, uh, Vishnu has ten avatars, and one of them is the Varahavatar. And uh, there was an asura called Hiranyakashipu or Hiranyaksh, and uh, apparently he took the Earth and water, and Vishnu took the form of a Varaha to go and save the Earth. and he did so and this is a depiction is what the claim is now if you will go and look at wikipedia just search varaha this is the first wikipedia link you get and you can see right here the earth depicted is it really a sphere is it i just search some images of varaha and there are plenty of images showing varaha with a flat earth my guess would be that this idea of varaha holding a spherical earth is something that was painted on or these paintings were made after we made the discovery of the earth being more or less spherical i'm not sure if the actual purana mentions uh, varaha carrying a spherical earth i don't think that's what he said he said the paintings depicted this way it's not like the paintings were from that era the paintings are modern and of course the modern depiction of the earth will be spherical conveniently these images of varaha carrying the earth the earth is spherical that's what my interpretation is I think those are modern images uh, and we shouldn't really go by that if it's explicitly mentioned in the purana itself then we should go by that ek aghori hai jo pakad mein aaya hai 2020 mein और सात एक्सपर्ट्स बैठे हैं उसका इंटरोगेशन समन टेल मी व्हाट व्हाट ही सेड इन बिगिनिंग आई डोंट नो द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट वर्ड व्हाट इज व्हाट ही कॉल दैट पर्सन क्वेश्चन करने के लिए उसको सवाल जवाब करने के लिए hmm. उसको नारकोटिस्ट इंजेक्शन लगा दिए और साथ में उसको सम्मोहित कर लिए हिप्नोटाइज कर लिए सो ही हैज नो मार्जिन टू लाइफ उसके मुंह से जो निकलेगा वो सच ही निकलेगा और झूठ बोल ही नहीं सकता okay. अब जब वो बोलना शुरू करता है तो वो बताता है कि मेरा नाम ओम शास्त्री है मेरी उम्र चालीस साल के आसपास है मेरी उम्र ठहर गई है अच्छा ना मेरी उम्र बढ़ती है ना मैं मरता हूँ और मैं सत्युग से देवभूमि भारत में हूँ पकड़ में आया हूँ अब कलयुग में मैं चारों युग जी चुका हूँ बिना मरे मैं रामायण का हिस्सा भी था और महाभारत का भी मैं राम से भी मिला और कृष्ण से भी मैंने रामायण पूरी होते देखी है और महाभारत का पूरा युद्ध देखा है और मैं वो आठवा चिरंजीवी हूँ आमतौर पर जो हमको पता है वो है सात चिरंजीवी है ना हिंदू ग्रंथों में वो ये कह रहा है कि मैं वो उन सातों में से मैं कोई नहीं हूँ मैं वो आठवा चिरंजीवी हूँ नोटिस हाउ वी डोंट हैव एनी फर्स्ट हैंड एविडेंस ऑफ व्हाट वो ही सेइंग इट्स ऑल हियर से एविडेंस दैट ही इज टेलिंग व्हाट ही इज understood what he has heard what he learned from the story so everything is his perspective of things now i'm not saying that he's exaggerating any of this but it's likely when you have second hand sources like this it's likely you are getting not the right kind of information i understand he is a hindu some hindutva guy promoter whatever obviously he want to push a narrative favoring his religion so obviously he might exaggerate it in a way that makes the story sound more amazing and makes his religion seem even more awesome so i wouldn't really trust his account of things i would have to see first hand account before i make any conclusion that's what i would say and he never mentioned any more details like the name of that person he said some name the name that was claimed uh, in the story but the the actual name of the person any details of where or when this took place if someone has the actual original video uh, mention the name of the video don't post link cuz youtube auto deletes comments with links post the name of the video cuz i want to learn a bit more about this but yeah that's how you should treat things like these when someone's making extraordinary claims you have to think about hey how likely is that to be true if this is false 
what are the red flags he's uh, giving his version of events he's not mentioned many of the details the person who's recounting the story is a pro hindu some hindutva guy these are the red flags you should keep in mind whenever you hear these kinds of stories but yeah that's it for this video next one across the globe duniya bhar mein kahin bhi aapne atomic energy centers dekhe hain jaise yahan pe brc hai what is the form baba atomic research so form kaise hai wo shivling ka hai so every atomic reactor in the world is in the form of a shivling iska reason hai because if you go by mathematics the ganit ke hisab se jao that is the best form of saving energy you know that of holding and holding energy so that no that's not the reason it it's shaped that way and there are spherically shaped nuclear reactors also the reason is those kinds of shapes are the best for holding in pressures high pressures not for saving energy shivling is actually energy because he is the only person who can destroy the whole world but doesn't do it now this whole uh, shivling is a nuclear reactor I've already explored this common misconception uh, that a lot of Sanatan guys peddle. It's this one, this video. Just go to my main channel. It's called Sanatan's Job. Link down below and watch this video. Shivling versus radioactivity. I explored exactly where this idea comes from. Who are the first people who spoke or wrote about this idea? I explore all that in this video. Go check it out. Next video. Uh, now this phenomenon. You all know exactly what I'm about to show, right? Uh, I'll I'll actually play the. Who's so tight? He's being buddy. Who's taking care of this side? This side, who's moving? Doing this is. Okay. Very supernatural power, bro. What exactly is happening? People claim that this is a miracle. Uh, there's no explanation for this, and apparently, this idol of God jumps on the shoulders, and that is the miracle. No one can explain how that happens. My guess is that these two wooden sticks. It's kind of. bringing up and down it's kept in a way that uh, the idol the weight in the middle makes the uh, wooden rods bend and because of that springing action it just keeps bouncing so when it falls and lands the kinetic energy the way a spring works the rod bends when it comes down and then the bend straightens and that straightening of the rod makes it uh, jump again then it comes back down and the cycle repeats that is what i think is happening here but if anyone has a better explanation than that if anyone knows how this actually happens let me know in the comments but yeah cool that's it i'll end the video here and see you in the next one